In this modern age of blended families, it is not unusual to find yourself falling in love with a woman who has children from a previous marriage. You are not their father, but you still have some responsibility toward them because of your relationship with their mom. Figuring out the best way to handle it, walking a fine line between stranger and family, can be difficult for both you and for the kids. There is a reason that the wicked stepmother is such a powerful image in children's literature. The idea of a new person coming in and taking the place of a beloved parent is scary for kids, and they can act out in all sorts of unpleasant ways. It can make it difficult to show them the sort of love that they require, partly because it is tough for the step-parent to know just what is appropriate. But even if parenting is an entirely new concept to you, there are a few things that you can remember. 1. Talk to the children's mother about your role. In many households, the stepfather is given absolutely no say in disciplining the children. Sometimes it is because the mother doesn't want to give up the control of being the sole parental influence. Or it could be that it seems easier for all involved, so that arguments of the you're not my dad type can be sidestepped. This decision is, of course, up to you and your wife. But part of being a good parent is fair, firm discipline, and if you aren't given any rights in this regard it can create real confusion and disharmony in your family. Make the decision, instead, to discuss all matters of discipline between the two of you for a while, and form a united front. That way, the kids will begin to see you as parent, too, and not just the new guy that mom brought home. 2. Choose your battles wisely. Children constantly test boundaries, doubly so with step-parents. It might start with a refusal to go to bed on time, or to turn down the stereo, or to help with dishes. After your requests have been ignored a few times, you may find yourself starting to get angry. Take a step back, and put it into perspective. Think about what will be more important a year, or five years, from now, having developed a relationship, or getting the dishes done. Your stepchildren are trying to find out what kind of person you are, and what your relationship will be, and if you fly into a fury over a missed bedtime ULL reinforce all their worst fears about having a stepfather. 3. Be supportive and positive. Congratulate your stepkid when she gets a good grade on a test and show interest in their lives and their schoolwork. Do not be surprised if they grumble or downplay the achievement. Remember, they aren't sure how to act with you, either. But if you keep showing that you like and care about them, they will appreciate it. 4. Recognize emotions, both theirs and your own. Everybody has ups and downs, and they can be especially intense for children. Acknowledge that they will be sad once in a while, especially if there are visitation and custody issues between their mother and her ex. Respect their feelings just as you would want yours respected, and do not insist that they put on a big, fake smile all the time to prove they are happy. The same goes for you. Be emotionally honest, and do not try to be jolly all the time, because you think that hello make for a happier family. Let your stepchildren get to know the real you, even when you are cranky, tired or stressed out. Just do not take it out on them, and talk honestly about your feelings instead. 5. Put punishment into perspective. Punishing mistakes or bad behavior is often the least effective technique for getting kids to behave. The most successful way to deal with potential problems is discuss with your wife ways to set reasonable expectations and what to do if they are not met. Limiting television, internet use, and cell phone calls if homework is not completed is one way to handle a problem. Doling out credit for extra TV time if they do chores is another. Kids do best when they know what the rules are and what will happen if they don't fulfill their obligations, and it will make it easier for you, as a stepfather to enforce those rules if everyone has agreed on what they are. The most important secret to being a good stepfather is simply to be patient, 
and loving. Your role in the family will be established in time. In the beginning, just be the kindest, most giving person you can be, and you will soon find that your stepchildren accept you as a parent. If you enjoy the tips I have for you here, you can get the tips from my brand new book titled 101 Amazing Ways to Say I Love You. Absolutely free, it is a value of $47, and this book is full of tips that will teach you how to quickly connect with your lover, spouse, or partner on an intimate level that makes them weak at the knees. For more details, go to 500secretsaboutgirls.com, scroll down for the form, and sign up to get your free tips. Read all the raving reviews and stories from our readers and users too.